So you can see my screen, right? Mm, nope. I see like a great. How's oh, that? Yeah. All right, cool. So this is the Import Export uh, Weekly Meeting. I'm joined by Federico, um, which is good because he has uh, two pull requests have come in today, which is awesome to see. Or one from yesterday, I guess, knowing your time zone. Um, uh, but first, I wanted to update. Uh, we had two pull requests merged um, yesterday, or this week, I guess, um, to do with uh, code cleanup um, and uh, using like PHP stand tools to check um, um, the import modules. Uh, so one of those was from Dennis, and the other one was from Alexander, I think. Um, other than that, there are a few issues that, uh, or pull requests that are being processed, but we still have quite a few that, as you can see on my screen, um, need updates. So I will ping people um, if there are things um, that I am waiting for. Um, I know that Carsten, this one's still ongoing, has been for a while. I know Carsten's been on holiday, um, so uh, I think he's back next week, if I remember rightly. So we'll see some progress on that. Uh, other than that, I um, since we've got Federico, I think it makes sense um, to talk through uh, your pull request. Um, would you like to share the screen, or shall I share the screen? Yeah, uh, I can share. Uh, fine, I'll do that. Start sharing here. Oh, I need to add an extension. Ah, I can share if it's easier. One sec. Okay. Do you see my screen? Yes, I can see blue jeans. Great. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's talk about this one. This is the first uh, one. This was uh, for uh making uh the uh import behaviors uh totally clear uh to users since uh i guess we got reports of people not being sure what happened after running a replace uh mm. import which will delete the product and recreate them uh, okay, so what I did was uh, that it was to uh, add two things. One is uh, this tooltip here, uh, which is a link to the uh, documentation. You have all the info on how the import behaviors and the import in general works. Uh, the other thing was to add notes uh, to each behavior, uh, and these notes were taken from the documentation. Uh, for example, the add update here says new product data is added. Blah, blah, blah. This is taken from here. Ah, oh, cool. Okay, that answers uh, one of my questions then. This... <laughs> yeah, I saw uh, on the PR, right? Yeah, yeah. I was wondering where the text came from, uh, but if it came from the docs, then it's all good. Yeah, uh, these, for example, comes from the replace comes from here. This is like the general uh, description, and. I added this uh, note, uh, you know, in bold, mm -hmm. saving this note here, which is the most important, I guess, for people to know that that behavior will replace their data with new data. Sounds good. Uh, so, uh, and the next one is the delete, which is kind of self-explanatory, but the same. Uh, the note is taken from here. Perfect. 
Okay. Cool. Uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, the other request is. Uh, is go back link to uh, import success page. And yeah, I, I came up with this one because of my experience working with import catalogs. Uh, and what happens to me usually is that, uh, let me change my branch here real quick. Okay. So what happens to me usually is uh, I start uh, importing products, you know. Uh, I do all my usual things. Uh, I check data. If I have error here, so I go back to the data, then uh, I upload the file again, check data again, run import. Sometimes uh, I I have some errors here due to you know data validation or data errors, which I will go back to the data and then try to do the import again. So what I, <laughs> I always thought was it it would be useful to have this link here the start import again here or go back or you know we, we would change this message mm -hmm. uh, but this is faster than coming to system import uh, when you have to do this operation like I don't know like a lot of times mm -hmm. so I don't know it was kind of <laughs> nice to have that I always have in, had in my mind and yeah, it, it it will take you to the uh, import uh, startup page again. Cool. Cool. Um, the only thing I thought of, and I've thought of it now after I've even done the review, um, was the way that you're building the URL. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure whether maybe we should. Um, specifically ask for like the import index page right because uh, I think at the moment yeah. you're just asking for like the is it the previous page or something like that or are yeah, you just doing a page reload or something find it here uh, <clears throat> it is here uh, so yeah this is the how you build the link uh, yeah, I'm wondering if there might be a better way of of mm -hmm. getting the route so that if someone has a custom route or does something with it, that it will also load that information. I'm not entirely sure how this one works, um, or how the the get URL with the star in this case would work, um, rather than specifically saying. I mean, it, it's being used at the bottom anyway, like the, when it builds the redirect. Uh, but um, yeah, let me let me um, have a look, or if you want to have a look and see how how the different options are to build the URLs, and see if there's a way of building the URL specifically saying, "Hey, take me to the import start," um, mm -hmm. and that might be a good idea. Yeah, sure. I am pretty sure I copied this uh, from somewhere else on this module. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where I can find it for you. Uh, That's okay. After, yeah, if you just have a quick is. have a quick look after if you've got time um, mm -hmm. later on today or something, and see because I wonder if if it would be better to be more. Um, specific which with which URL we'd like to send the user back to. Okay. Um, yeah. Other than that, um, looks great. Awesome. Cool. Okay. All right.
Thanks for sharing. Um, yeah, as usual, um, uh, yeah, I gave you uh, one piece of feedback that you can ignore, which was about the text. If you've got it from the docs, that's fine. Um, the on the sorry on the the first pull request you demonstrated. Um, then there was one other piece of um, feedback with regards to the method. Um, my my gut feeling would be make the method private because I don't think it's the sort of thing we need to extend. Um, yeah, yeah. So let's let's go with it that way. Say make the make the method private because we don't need to extend it, um, and then mm -hmm. we can process uh, and then have a look at the have a look at how the URL is built for the pull request you've just shown, and then I can start processing processing those pull requests. I'll probably um, get to them on Monday morning, looking at the time at the moment, but that'd be awesome. Okay, sure. Cool, awesome. Well, thank you for joining, and um, uh, yeah, let me know. Get, just message me when you have those um, pull requests updated, or tag me in GitHub or something, and I'll, I'll be able to process them. Okay, perfect. Cool. Thanks, man. Bye. Thank you, David. Bye.